Hi, Yarnabees. It's me. Um, can I rant for a minute? I'm feeling a lot better. And um, I decided that I was going to go out today. I was going to go to the grocery store and get a few things. I wish I hadn't. Wow, my hair is just a hot mess today. Um, I wish I hadn't because, oh, you know, like the stores now, people are, I think they're finished the craziness and, and getting everything off the shelves. But now, like there's nobody around, the parking lots are bare. And, you know, so I thought, okay, this is good. I can get in, I can get out, I can do what I need to do and go home. Well, <clears throat> what I didn't realize is now that those people that are buying up all the toilet paper and everything are at home and they're containing themselves, now all the crazy, real crazy people come out. So I'm going around doing my thing getting bread and getting whatever you know I need a lot of stuff is not on the shelf uh, but it's like whatever you do what you got to do right I come around the corner of this aisle and this woman is standing there just I come around and whoop she's there she jumps back like I shot her just jumps back She's got Clorox wipes in her hands and she freaks out. She's like, I'm doing social distancing. And I'm like, and? She says, you're supposed to give me right away because I was here first and you're supposed to stand six feet back at least. I says, I'm getting what's right here. And then I'm leaving. She says, well, no, I was here first and you're supposed to stay back. And, and I'm just looking at her like, lady, chill. And she's going nuts. She, she leaves her cart there and she walks back. And I'm going like, are you crazy? Like, what are you doing? You know, and she's like wiping her hands and her arms and everything. She's like, oh, oh my God. And I'm going, wow, if you are that worried about it, then stay home. Like, really? You know, and I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. You're supposed to be do doing social distancing. I says, I'm going to do that right now after I get what I came to get. And I walked away and I was so enraged that I just, I walked out paid for what little stuff I had and I left. So then I go into um, Canadian Tire and the stuff that I wanted was not there. So I ended up getting a couple of other things. I got some spray white, uh, um, spray cleaner and some toilet stuff and whatever because you can't find a Clorox wipe anywhere on this planet, I'm sure. And I go up to the teller and I go and hand her a $20 bill and she goes, oh! I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, and I'm like, what the hell? We're not taking cash anymore. Oh, really? Suddenly cash is no good. You're not allowed to give cash to anybody anymore. Has it any, has it occurred to these people to wear gloves maybe? Oh, I'm telling you, it is not worth going outside. It's really not. It's not worth it. You know, I, I think, you know, I just, I, I'm beside myself 
absolutely beside myself with these people. So, and then, um, so we, we had the cash. I met George at the bank to go and put the cash back in the bank. <laughs> and then, so I could use the debit card. And there's two guys casing the place. There's one sitting outside the bank and there's one sitting outside the liquor store. And I'm thinking, thank God George was with me because if I had to come out of that bank and this guy had mugged me, I would have throat punched him. Like, like, don't be messing with me right now. I am pissed off enough, you know. So I debated whether or not to call the cops. But now there's this thing out where the cops are saying that they're not going to arrest anybody because they don't want to have to deal, to touch these pe to touch people because of COVID-19 and the social distancing thing. They don't want them in the back of their car. Are you kidding me? So now I'm thinking, great, great. So we are now going to have people breaking the law because now they know the cops aren't going to do squat about it. The world has gone to hell. I swear to God. Oh, anyway, so I know I said I was on a yarn van, but I was so upset that I went to Michael's. And that is the cure for everything. Yes. George is looking at me like, really? After you said you were on a yarn, whatever, a yeah. yarn strike, or what did you call it? A yarn band. Yarn band. But everybody's talking about the new yarns that Michaels has. I haven't even seen it. I haven't got to see it. I haven't got to touch it. Nothing. So I wanted to go check it out because I've just, I, I haven't been outside in like weeks. So I decided to go and check it out. And well. I only got a couple things. Only got a couple. Um, most of it's all cotton that's new. And I don't use cotton, really. I, I'm just not a cotton fan. I know a lot of people out, out there are huge cotton fans. But um, I just don't like the feel of it. I really don't like the feel of it. But, well, first of all, I noticed that the Karen Latte case were out and they were on sale. So I had to, oh, I had to get two purple ones, right? Yeah, yeah, so this one is called Blackberry. So you know I had to do it, right? But this really surprised me. This is called Ripple Wave Stripes, Stripe by Loops and Threads. Okay. Sorry if you hear kids screaming or whatever. There's kids playing outside. So I got that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. And it is so soft. I can't, I mean, my hands right now, because I've been using so much of the Clorox wipes and so much of the hand sanitizer and all that, my hands are really dry. But this, oh, I cannot believe how squishy this is. So there's 366 yards in here, 200 grams. And it's color 11. It's called Twilight Ma Magenta. It's a medium four, four weight. And it is it is 50% uh, acrylic, 50% polyester. Oh, this is just so soft. I had to get it. So I got. Uh, three balls. 
And that's all I got. That's all I bought because all the other stuff is either too thin for me to work with or it was cotton. So, but this is really nice. This is the nicest color I think they had. But, um, yeah. I mean, these would go together really good too. So, with a sweater. So, that's probably going to be my next thing is doing a sweater out of this and seeing how it is. Um... Machine cold, machine wash cold, gentle cycle. Tumble dry on low. Do not iron. So you can put it in the uh, dryer. So that's good. Good, good, good. So that will be my next thing. <laughs> anyway, um, what am I working on right now? I am working on... What am I working on? I have something on my hook. What if I got them? Oh, I know what it is. Anu um, put out a, it's like a, ah, uh, what's it called? Like a, a wrap, a wrap? No, I forget what it's called. I'll put it right here and then I'll put the link down below. So I'm doing a pink and purple one and hopefully it will turn out so but guess what fiber spider just put out his um his new pattern for that four, four five pointed or four pointed um shawl that he had announced i am so glad because i really like that it's like straight in the back but then there's points like bat wing point oh don't say bat wing <sighs> Not with this COVID thing going on. Oh, geez. Anyway. <laughs> so I can't wait to do this because it looks really cool. I might have to do it in <gasps> latte. Maybe. Maybe. So anyways. Okay. That's all I got for you guys. I uh, hope you're all well. I hope you are all surviving this madness um yeah i should have just stayed home and crocheted yeah it's not like i don't have enough yarn around me right so anyway okay i'm gonna go now i love you all bump 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 <laughs> bump bump <laughs> whatever you're supposed to do <laughs> out of hell with it i love you all I'll talk to you later.